Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of my commands. This is your command mouth. This is your mouth loop. Down there you see your flapper. And here you have an arm with a chain that controls your flapper, allowing you to flush. If, if your water is too high above your water line, it's about an inch below that tube, if your water overflows, you need to adjust your uh, ball flow here. You can do that by bending this metal arm, bend the, the ball lower, and that will allow the metal to shut off sooner. If you do that and it still overflows, at that point you need to replace this um, command mouth. Now your flapper is not in there. The way to check your flapper is take a little flashlight or something that you can shine in the back of your command. You shine on the mag. Look for any water trickling down through the mag. If you do have water trickling down the mag here, it's usually a math flapper. You gotta look real close because you know just a little bit of trickle and it's gonna waste a lot of water. So that usually means you have a math flapper. Now if your command doesn't have the squirrel action, um, usually what that means there are holes up underneath the rim. See when you see them. You see one right there. There. You know all the way around. You need to take a cone hanger and uh, clean those out. You're using the fonts in them. And what that'll do is you look in the swirl and all your water will go down. And usually your sediment, sometimes all of that will go down. So clean those out and correct that. Uh, make sure this little hose is in this uh, tube. That refills a little bit of water after you flush. You know, if your commode is um, flushes 1.6 gallons or less, it's okay. But if it flushes more than that, it's going to replace it because it'll save you a lot on water mills. And uh, so every flush, you know, it could be over a gallon of water you're saving. So it's important to have a new commode. And uh, especially if it's real, when I went and tried to fix it, I replace it with a uh, a new model. Especially if you have a command you use a lot, your main command should be a new model. It'll save you a lot of money. Okay, thank you. Okay, on this command, I want to show you. Um, I believe this is a replacement now. It's just a minus Phillips head screw right there. That's how you can adjust this float. Uh, these are common. It's probably mostly what you'll see is uh, the replacement. Um, one thing I want to warn you about these replacements is they are adjustable. You can adjust them higher and lower. So make sure you read the directions on how to do that. A lot of people make that mistake that they just put it in right out of the box and that's not the way to do it. Read the directions, find out how to adjust it up and down and it'll tell you how high or low you should adjust it. But this come out especially the same setup. It's got the long tube, flabber. This has the uh, replacement come out in it.
I just want to show you this a little different. 